Real estate values in Florida are going up. In the Miami area, there have been four straight years of record-breaking sales, according to the National Association of Realtors. Samantha DiBianchi is the founder of DiBianchi Real Estate and star of Million Dollar Listing Miami on Bravo. She says Miami's international appeal is part of the reason. Miami's market is booming. I mean, we really are a world-class city now, and we're comparable to Hong Kong, to Paris, to London, and of course, comparable to here in New York. Um, you know, prices, if you compare it to last year, luxury condos have gone up 11%, single-family homes 5%. The average price per square foot then was 11.50 a square foot for condos. And I'm saying condos because when you think Miami, you generally think luxury condos. That's what it's known for. You look at 1150 a square foot you can't compare that to any of these other markets so even though it's pricey it's still the best deal in town so who is buying then Samantha well when you think Miami a lot of times you think Latin American and generally that's what it used to be majority of but now we're seeing a lot of Russians Europeans the Chinese we're just we're seeing all of the buyers that all these other major markets have seen they're all again coming to Miami and they're buying big okay so numerous different nationalities in other mm -hmm. words, not just the Latin invasion. Right. What kinds of buyers, what kinds of jobs do they do? I mean, are you seeing finance people? Are you seeing tech people? Is it a mix? It is a mix. It's finance, it's tech, it's entrepreneurs. You have a lot of people just wanting to put their money into Miami. And again, you compare price per square foot, we are by far, by far, the best deal in town. And again, when you compare the area, I mean, you know, when I got here, I was wearing my little sundress and I had no idea I was walking into a, kind of a, a very a cooler, cooler temperature. Exactly. Whereas, you know, the average temperature in Miami is 74 degrees. So, Samantha, has any of the what we're talking about, whether it's who's buying, which sectors they work in, which countries they come from, has any of that noticeably changed in the past two years? I heard you say it's no longer about Latins, but when you talk about finance, tech, is that different than it was even two years ago? I mean, compared to two years ago, obviously, I truly believe, and I, I don't have... Uh it hasn't come out, but I can tell you personally dealing with these people, it's a lot of tech people um, from my own experience of who I see as buyers. What has it been like? We know you are a star of the million dollar listing Miami on Bravo. What has it been yes. like to participate in that? <sighs> insane. I mean, my business has changed dr dramatically, drastically, just insane. From the visibility, from people who know you, from people who want to reach out to you and know you have access to good deals. Exactly. I mean, the visibility, you can't buy that. It's amazing. What has been the number one surprise to you about the changes you've seen? And it can be anecdotal, meaning are there more bars? Are there more restaurants? What's changing about Miami? I think the neatest part of Miami is now the designer building trend. So you have the Fendi Chateau, you have the Armani Casa, and you think about it, and you know, when you go to the store and you think Chanel or Fendi, you're buying that and you're spending that higher price point because of quality. So, you know, these buyers are looking at that same thing. It's not just the restaurants, the entertainment, the beach, the weather. I mean, obviously, I could go on and on. But when you say, I live at the Armani Casa or the Fendi Chateau, that adds value to that. It's amazing what a name can add to value. Samantha Dianchi, sorry, Samantha, she is the founder of Dianchi Real Estate. We are back.